Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make a Moroccan window. This is a square designed by Heather Gibbs. The yarn that I'm using in this video is Schepje Stone Washed Yarn in combination with a 4mm crochet hook. I'll take you step by step through the rounds that make up this square. Thank you for watching. I hope it's a useful video for you. Round one. Got a color yarn on my hook with a slip knot. I'm going to start with a chain four. And then I'm going to close on the first stitch with a slip stitch. You can do a magic ring here if you prefer. Then in the ring we're going to work 16 half double crochets. My first one is a chain two. It's my first half double. And then in the ring, I'm going to do 15 more. So that's one, two, three, four, five, twelve, thirteen. This is number 14, and I just need to squish 15 in here. 15. So it's 15 half doubles and the chain 2, that's 16. I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to close here with an invisible join. So open up. And that's the chain 2. Then the stitch next to it. I'm going to insert my hook. Pick up that yarn. Come back from the back loop and pick it up again. Then that's there is the invisible join that I just made on top of that chain two. So at this point you have sixteen half double crochets. Round two of a new colour yarn. I'm going to attach this yarn in any stitch with a slip stitch. Doesn't matter which stitch you choose. So I'm going to take that one. Chain three. This is my first treble. Sorry, first double crochet. Mixing up my UK and US terms here. Second double crochet, chain two, and two more doubles in the same stitch. One, and two. That's a corner made. Chain one, I'm going to skip a stitch and then work a double. So skipping the next stitch and be sure to see which one, that's this stitch here. It's, it's almost covered by the corner, so we're skipping that stitch. Then in the next stitch, work a double. Then again, chain one, and skip a stitch. Skipping the next stitch, and in the following work a corner. It's again going to be two doubles. Chain two and two doubles. One, two. And this corner and that corner is the same. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. Chain one, skip a stitch, and the next worker double, chain one, skip a stitch, and walk a corner. That's two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Another corner, chain one, skipping a stitch, that stitch, work a double, chain 
chain one, skip a stitch, and work a corner. So one, two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Chain one, skip the next stitch, work a double crochet, chain one, going to skip this last stitch and close here with an invisible join on the chain, um, on the stitch next to the chain three. So I'm just going to cut my yarn. So I've got the chain three here, the stitch next to it. I'm going to close on that. Pick up that yarn, and now you need to go through the chain one space. I always find this slightly easier if I go to the back. Just pick up the back loop from the chain one, grab my yarn again, and just pull that through. And in my next round, I'm going to work over that and then connect this yarn tail to the rest of my work. That was round two already. Round three, new color yarn. I'm going to attach this yarn in any corner stitch, doesn't matter which one, with the slip stitch. Chain three, that's my first treble, sorry, double crochet. Still got my US and UK terms mixed up. Then another double crochet, chain two and two more double crochets. One and two. That's a new corner. On the straight edge we're going to work a double crochet on all the double crochet stitches and here in these two spaces we're going to come down and work a treble in round one in those stitches that we skipped. First two stitches work a double crochet. Especially that first one, don't accidentally skip it because the corner could fall over it. It's one, two doubles. Now we're on the chain one with the skipped stitch here in round, from round one. So I'm going to do twice over for the treble and come into that stitch from round one. And I'm going to just, going to just push the chain to the back, that I don't catch that chain when I pick up my yarn. So I've got that really to the back. And then I'm completing the treble. I'm going to, do so, I'm going to skip the chain one here to the back. And then the next stitch is the double crochet. I'm going to work a double crochet in there. Next stitch is again a double treble, sorry, a treble, twice over, in this skipped stitch. Again, pulling that loop back, that I don't snag anything from round two, and complete the stitch. In the background you'll hear my hamster. It's going completely nuts for something. And the last two stitches work a double crochet. In the corner, work a new corner. So it's again two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. And you can see how this corner is the same as that corner. So what you've just done along this edge, do that on the other three edges also. Close on the first stitch with the slip stitch. Round four. I'm going to start in any chain two corner space, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose this one and attach 
with a slip stitch. Chain 1 does not count as a stitch and a single crochet in the same stitch, same space. Just move it a bit. Chain 2 and a single crochet in the chain 2 corner space. That's your new corner made. Single crochet, chain 2, single crochet. On the first four stitches, so these four, we're going to do a single crochet on each. So one, two, three, four single crochets. You can do a front post single on this front post you already have here. So a front post single crochet. In the next stitch, do a single crochet. Again, a front post around this already front post stitch. Another front post single. Then a front, after this front post, you've got four stitches left, a single crochet on each of those. One, two, Three, four. On the corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. This corner, same as that corner. So repeat on your other three edges and then close on your first stitch. Round 5, I'm going to start in any chain 2 corner space, doesn't matter which one, to attach my yarn in this one, in the chain 2 space, with a slip stitch. Chain 2, this is going to count as a half double, and then make another half double, chain 2, and 2 more half doubles in that same space. I'm just going to have to move it up a bit to get the last one in. There's a new corner made. Two half doubles, chain two and two half doubles. We're now going to work a half double on every stitch. It's going to be 13 stitches. And especially the first one here, that's a tricky one, you can easily forget that one. So I'm just going to if I open this up, you see that stitch there? That's your first st first stitch. So don't accidentally miss it. It's the first one there. I take the thread with me from uh, my yarn tail. This is the first of 13. It's a half double on every stitch. When you get to your next chain 2 space, work a new corner, 2 half doubles, chain 2 two half doubles and repeat on the next edge. Go all the way around when you get to the first stitch close um, with an invisible join or a slip stitch in your uh, in this first stitch. Round six new color yarn and in any chain two corner space I'm going to attach my yarn. Chain 2, chain 3 even, for the first double crochet. Two, another double, chain 2, and two more doubles. This is your new corner made. Two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. For the straight edge, I'm going to work a double crochet on the first two stitches. Now be mindful that first stitch. See, there's that first stitch. So remember this first one here. And your corner could slightly cover it, and then you don't see it that well. 
your first stitch. So one and two. Chain one. I'm going to skip a stitch, that stitch, and then work a double crochet in the next. I'm going to do this five times. Two. Chain one, skip a stitch, and double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, and a double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, and a double. Chain one, skip a stitch, and another double. I just do one more chain one, skipping this stitch and then work two doubles on the last two stitches. Skimming that stitch, you've got two left, work a double on those last two stitches. Next up is a corner, two doubles, chain two and two doubles. And then this corner is the same as the corner we just started with. And two. So what we've just done here, do this on your other three edges also and then close on your first stitch. Round seven. Again attach with a slip stitch in any corner space, chain 3, this is my first double crochet and then I'm going to make exactly the same corner as before so that's another double, chain 2 and 2 more doubles so a corner is 2 doubles, chain 2 and 2 doubles very similar to everything we've done up till now this round we're going to do the same as we did here for round 3 going to work double crochets and then come down and work trebles in those stitches that we skipped the previous round. Start with four doubles on the first four stitches. Again be sure to take that first stitch, do not accidentally miss that first stitch. It's one, two, three and four. Four double crochets. We're now going to come down and work a treble here in this stitch that we skipped from the in the previous round. So that one there. Twice over. We're going to go into that stitch and again be sure to really take that chain one space to the back. I don't want to cover that stitch. So only in the skipped stitch two rows down and then complete the treble. Next stitch, the double crochet, you work a double on that. So the chain one that to the back here we're leaving that unworked. This we're going to repeat the treble and the double crochet we're going to repeat until we're on the other side. Twice over, into the stitch, two rows down. Be sure to pull back that you don't cover your chain one space and complete the treble. And again, a double crochet. Treble in this skipped stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch. Treble in the skipped stitch. You see how I'm pulling the row uh, row six, how I'm around six, how I'm pulling it backwards and forwards as I need it, or as I need it out of the way. And this way you can get an easy rhythm going here. Last one. 
last full repeat double crochet Got one space left, going to work a treble in there come back up and work four doubles on these last four stitches three and four corner two doubles chain two and two doubles the corner is the same as the corner we started with so on this edge repeat the, on the other three also and then close on your first stitch round eight round eight is very similar to this round I did here in the yellow I forgot which round number that is it's one two three it's round four so round eight is very similar to round four I'm going to attach with a slip stitch in any corner space chain one this does not count as a stitch single crochet chain two and a single crochet in the corner which makes your new corner so single chain two single that's your new corner on the first six stitches work a single crochet on each the first one here so one two three And number six. Next is this front post stitch. Work a front post single around that. The double crochet you work a single. This you're going to repeat to the other side. So around each front post stitch you work a front post single and in each double crochet you work a single crochet. we have six or seven of these front post stitches we just have to count to verify almost to the other side you see I'm doing a front post single crochet around every front post treble and the double crochets in between all get a front get a single crochet to the other side you have six double crochets on the other side to work a single on each of those my yarn is almost finished and the last two stitches here on the corner single crochet chain two single crochet this corner again the same as the corner we started with so repeat this on all the other edges also and close on your first stitch round nine already in the corner space chain two corner space attach yarn chain two which counts as a half double another half double in the same space chain two and two more half doubles and two that's your first corner made very important for this row skip the first stitch I'm going to skip the first stitch and start in the second so this one this very first one I'm going to skip that go to the second I'm just going to take my thread with me see I'm working on that second stitch make a half double 
then work a half double on every stitch across. When you get to your next corner, again two half doubles, chain two and two half doubles. Start your next edge. Again, remember, skip the first stitch and then work a half double in every stitch. Go all the way around and close on your first stitch. Round 10, we have a new color yarn. I'm going to attach this in any chain to corner space. Chain 3, this is my first double, followed by a second double crochet, chain 2, and 2 more doubles. One. This is your first corner made. We're going to skip the first stitch and then work four doubles. So this very first stitch, you can also see it's slightly hidden there. That stitch, you're going to skip that stitch and then go to the next. We're going to work four doubles. It's one, two, three. And four. Sorry, just my yarn is a little misbehaving here. Here we go. Chain one, skip one stitch, and work a double. And this we're going to repeat until we're almost to the other side. Chain one, skip a stitch, and work a double. I'm going to repeat this until there are three stitches left. And then on the last three stitches we work a double crochet so that you have again a symmetrical edge with four double crochets either side of the corner and chain one, skip a stitch, work a double and this repeats is, I believe ten times so that you have eleven of these spaces and chain one, skip a stitch, work a double, chain one, work a double crochet, I believe one more, chain one, work one double. At this point there are three stitches left if everything went right. Yes, one, two, three stitches left. And on those three you work a double crochet on each. Two and three. Next up is the corner, so it's again two doubles followed by a chain two and two more doubles. One, two. This corner is again the same as the corner we started with. So on the next edge remember to skip that first stitch, so it's going to be that stitch and then start here with the four doubles. Go all the way around and close on your first stitch. Round 11, new color yarn. Going to attach this in any chain 2 corner space with a slip stitch. Chain 3 this is my first double. I'm going to do the same corner we've done for quite a few rows now. Two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. That's my new corner. On the first six stitches, work a double crochet. I'm going to open up that first one and then I don't accidentally miss it. I'm just taking my thread with me, my yarn tail. Two, three, four, five, and this is number six. Six 
double crochets on the first stitches. On the chain space we're going to come down and work a treble in this stitch we skipped from round 10. That's the same as we've done before, for example here. So again we're going to come down twice over for the treble into that skipped stitch. I'm just going to fold my work to the back that I don't accidentally work over that chain 1 space. just want to leave that unworked and complete the treble. Next stitch, work a double crochet again. This we're going to repeat until we're all the way to the other side. So again twice over in that stitch, skip stitch, treble, followed by a double crochet on the next double. To make a small jump in the video, after this last one, fold to the back, work a treble, and on the next stitch, work a double. To make a small jump and I'll see you here. I've just worked this last treble in that last chain space. Again, make sure to leave the chain one to the back unworked. On the next double, work a double and this is again going to be until the end six double crochets. Three, four, five, and the last one, six. Next up is the corner, two doubles, chain two, chain two, and two doubles. And as always, this corner is the same as that corner. Repeat this edge on your other three edges also. When you get to your first stitch, close with the slip stitch. Round 12, last round of the square, with a new color yarn. I'm going to attach in any chain to corner space. Going to start with a single crochet chain two single crochet corner. Chain one, this is not a stitch, just for me to be able to make this first single crochet more easy. Chain two and another single crochet. This is my first corner made. On the straight edge, work nine singles. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine single crochets. We're now going to alternate working a half double and a single. We're going to alternate that over the next few stitches. So on the next stitch work a half double followed by a single and again a half double and a single. And to repeat this until we're on the last treble. If you see the half doubles are working on the double crochets and this single crochet I'm working on the treble. I'm just going to repeat this a bit further.
no more half double and a single. See here how this kind of helps you to straighten out this edge. Everything went correct. I've got eight stitches left. And these eight stitches are going to work a single on each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, this is seven, and eight. In the corner, single crochet, chain two, and another single. Repeat this first edge on your other three edges also. When you get to the first stitch, close on there with a slip stitch or an invisible join. When you've done your last round, you'll see your square is very wobbly and uh, really bobbles. So really do block the square to get it nice and flat. That will help you to even out all these bobbles. And when you've blocked your square, you see it's nice and flat and no longer wobbles and bubbles everywhere. That brings us to the end of this instruction video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time.